Hello dear friends welcome back it's me srija suresh and you are watching ss math solution in this section i am going to give some pedagogy mathematics gated category 3 questions okay let's go to our section here our first question is here so try to answer okay which of the following is best suited mathematics instrument for contour mapping and general surveying angle mirror level transit slide rule so which of the following is best suited mathematic instrument for contour mapping and general surveying so contour mapping and general surveying is which one level so okay option 2 level is the answer moving to next which of the following principles not underlined in dalton plan which of the following principles not underlined in dalton plan principle of freedom principle of continuity principle of self effort principle of just alt view so here in this question uh, you should um, listen this not underlined so okay negative word is there so careful answer is principle of continuity so in the in the dalton plan other three were there but principle of continuity not included in the dalton plan hope you understood moving to next question dash is a hierarchically sequenced set of actions performed in tune with accepted principles leading to a new product theorem process fact concept dash is a hierarchically sequenced set of actions performed in tune with accepted principles answer is option 2 process okay process is the answer okay let's move to next one which of the following is not a prerequisite to learn the drawing of an in circle tangents bisecting an angle perpendicular from a point to a line segment radius of a circle so here the question is uh, read carefully it is not a prerequisite that is a question not a prerequisite okay for drawing an in circle which is not a prerequisite okay uh, we know that tangents bisecting an angle perpendicular from a point to a line segment needed to draw an in circle but we don't want um, radius of a circle for drawing in circle so the answer is option 4 radius of a circle is not a prerequisite to do, learn the drawing of an in circle okay let's move to next one conducting field trip is an example of dash type of project conducting field trip is an example of dash type of projects producer type problem type consumer type drill type so conducting field trip is an example of problem type of projects okay option 2 problem type of project is the answer okay let's go to next one according to piaget hypothetically deductive reasoning will be acquired by children in sensory motor stage pre operational thought stage concrete operational stage formal operational stage so according to piaget hypothetically deductive reasoning will be acquired by children in formal operational stage option 4 formal operational stage is the answer okay let's go to next one the purpose of diagnostic test is to the test whether the objectives are objectives are attained or not identify the areas of difficulty and take remedial measures understand the effectiveness of learning activities provided the purpose of diagnostic test it's this part is very important the purpose of diagnostic test is to yes option 2 identify the areas of difficulty and take remedial measures identify the areas of difficulty and take remedial measures is the purpose of diagnostic test okay let's go to next one identify the hierarchical order of the objectives under effective domain so it's five, five steps were there valuing responding organizing receiving characterizing 
so and op answers are three options given the order given so which one is correct order for affective domain here option a 4 2 1 3 5 is the hierarchical order of the objective under affective domain 4 means receiving 2 responding 1 is valuing 3 is organizing and 5 is characterizing so this is the hierarchical order of the objectives under affective domain okay let's go to next Objective testing of written materials. Mathematics should not be based on linguistic expression, logical presentation, ability to reproduce whatever is read, comprehension of subject. So, objective testing of written materials. Mathematics should not be based on. Every time be careful about the question. Its negative word is there or not. According to that, we need to um, find the answer. Okay. So, which is the objective testing of written material, mathematics should not be based on linguistic expression. So, mathematics is not based on linguistic expression. Let us move to next. The branch of mathematics deals with the restoring what is missing and equating with like algebra, calculus, geometry, trigonometry. So, which branch is that? So, the branch algebra, okay, algebra is the answer. Okay, let us go to next one. If equals are added to equals, the result will be equal. The statement is an example of theorem, lemme, definition, axiom. So, what is this? Which is this statement is an example of axiom. Okay, this statement is an example of axiom. Equals are added to equal, the result will be equal. The statement is an example of axiom. Moving to next. Which of the following is not an element of a model of teaching? Which of the following is not an element of a model of teaching? Objectives, principles of reaction, syntax, social system. It is not an element of a model of teaching is objectives. The other three were the model of teaching but the objectives is not an element of a model of teaching objectives. Moving to our 13th question. The most significant feature of heuristic method of teaching mathematics is that of. Okay, the most significant feature of heuristic method. Minimize students involvement engages a mass of students lead the students to discover facts see suits the beginner student so the most significant feature answer is here leads the students to discover facts the third option leads the students to discover facts is the answer okay let's move to next one while planning a mathematics lesson the teacher should be guided by Prescribed textbook, availability of learning aids, community resources, learning outcomes envisaged by the curriculum. So, while planning a mathematics lesson, the teacher should be guided by, while planning a mathematics lesson, the teacher should be guided by learning outcomes envisaged by the curriculum. Learning outcomes envisaged by the curriculum is the answer. The, so, teacher um, planned her lesson according to outcomes envisaged by the curriculum. Okay, let us move to next one. The type of reasoning advocated by Francis Bacon is the type of reasoning advocated by the Francis Bacon is analogy, analytical, induction, deduction. The type of reasoning advocated by Francis Bacon is induction. Okay, third option induction is the answer. Let us go to next one. Which of the following is not an essential function of mathematics club? Developing heuristic attitude among students. Appreciate the impact of mathematics in daily life. Utilization of leisure time provides opportunity to transmit theory into practice. Which of the following is not an essential function of mathematics club? So, three options were the function of mathematics club. One is not an essential function of mathematics club. 
so the answer is utilization of leisure time utilization of leisure time is not a function of mathematics club now we are going to next one the student appreciate the role played by mathematics in preserving and transmitting our traditions is an example of practical value cultural value disciplinary value social value the student appreciate the role played by mathematics in preserving and transmitting our tradition is an example of cultural value so the option 2 cultural value is the answer okay let's try next one Which of the following activity is most suitable after deriving the formula V equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube? Which of the following activity is most suitable after deriving the formula V equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube? To do more problems from textbook, to repeat the activity done in classroom, to find out the volume of a spherical object from environment, to, address, to do assignments given by the teacher. So, after deriving the formula V equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube, which activity is most suitable? So, the answer is option 3 to find out the volume of a spherical object from environment. This activity is suitable, okay, to find out the volume of a spherical object from environment. Moving to next one. Who said God eternally geometrizes? Goes Aristotle, Plato, Euclid. Who said God eternally geometrizes? Plato said God eternally geometrizes. Option 3, Plato is the answer. Moving to next one. Which one is not a specification of the objective attitude towards mathematics? Solve problems with speed and accuracy. Proves the formula through systematic steps and objective reasoning. Demonstrate originality and creativity. Solves relevant problems with confidence. So, which one is not a specification of the objective attitude towards mathematics? Solve problems with speed and accuracy is not a specification of the objective attitude towards mathematics okay option one solve problems with the speed and accuracy let's move to next which of the following statement is not correct a test cannot be valid without being reliable a test can be reliable without being valid a test can be reliable and valid both a test can be valid without being reliable so which of the following statement is not correct So, here the answer is option D, a test can be valid without being reliable is not correct. This statement, fourth statement is not correct. A test can be valid without being reliable. Okay, let's try the next one. Differential curriculum in mathematics is used for catering the needs of slow learners, gifted learners, underachievers, disabled children. So, the differential curriculum in mathematics is used for catering the needs of gifted learners okay answer is gifted learners so the differential curriculum in mathematics is used for catering the needs of gifted learners let's try the next one which of the following is an essential prerequisite to find the area of a regular hexagon area of a scalene triangle area of an equilateral triangle area of a right triangle area of a pentagon so which of the following is an essential prerequisite to find the area of a regular hexagon. So, which is the essential prerequisite? Area of an equilateral triangle needed to study the area of a regular hexagon. Area of an equilateral triangle is the answer. Let us move to next one. The type of validity required for an admission test is concurrent validity, construct validity, phase validity, predictive validity. The type of validity required for an admission test is predictive validity. The option 4 predictive validity is the answer. Moving to next. Which of the following is not an essential quality of cooperative learning? Which of the following is not an essential quality of cooperative learning? Face to face interaction, individual accountability, positive interdependence, laissez faire approach. Which of the following is not an essential quality of cooperative learning? <clears throat> is not an essential quality. 
So, the first three were the quality of cooperative learning, the fourth one laissez fair approach is not uh, needed to cooperative learning, ok, laissez fair approach. Let us try the next one, which one is not a characteristic of mathematics assignment, which one is not, ok, correlation with the prior knowledge and experience, recognition of individual differences, saving of teaching time, removal of people's difficulties, it is not a characteristic. Saving of teaching time, okay. Which one is not a characteristics of mathematics assignment? Saving of teaching time. Option 3 is not a characteristics of mathematics assignment. Let us try the next one. Which of the following sequence is used in micro teaching technique? Which of the following sequence is used in micro teaching technique? Providing feedback, discussing the component skill, micro teaching, identifying the component skill, demonstrating the component skill. Here options 4 were there A, B, C, D. So, find the hierarchical order for micro teaching technique or the sequence of micro teaching technique. So, the answer is option A. The order is 4, 2, 5, 3, 1. So, 4 means identifying the component skill, 2 discussing the component skill, 5 demonstrating the component skill, 3 micro teaching and the 1 is providing feedback. This is the following sequence in the micro teaching technique. So, this much only for this pedagogy questions. Now, I am telling some facts about the mathematics pedagogy. Okay. Uh, some questions previously asked. Okay. Listen this one. So, uh, first one is father of geometry, father of geometry is Euclid or we can ask it as founder of geometry, okay, father of geometry, founder of geometry, Euclid. The, the next one father of mathematics, father of mathematics is Archimedes, father of modern mathematics is the Rene Descartes, father of Indian mathematics is Aryabhatta. So, the three cases were there, father of mathematics Archimedes, father of modern mathematics Rene Descartes, father of Indian mathematics Aryabhatta, ok. Now, um, remember this one Ramanujan's number, Ramanujan's number is 1729, um, we can, we know that Ramanujan's number can be written in the two form that is the cube of, sum of the cube of two numbers, 1 cube plus 12 cube. And 9 cube plus 10 cube is the answer 1729. Now, National Mathematics Day, National Mathematics Day, we celebrated on December 22nd, behalf of the memory of Srinivasa Ramanujan. Okay, so the birth memory of Srinivasa Ramanujan, we are celebrating National Mathematics Day on December 22nd. Now, this question is uh, previously asked about Bhaskarajarya. Bhaskarajarya is the first mathematician who presented examples related to differential coefficient. Okay. Bhaskarajarya is the first mathematician who presented examples related to differential coefficient. And remember this famous books for Bhaskarajarya, Leelavadi, Leelavadi which is on mathematics itself, Bijaganida which is on algebra, then Siddhanta Shiromani, which is in two parts, the first on mathematical astronomy and the second part on the sphere, ok. Three and two more books were there, but the, these three are the important books, ok. Leelavadi, Bijaganida, Siddhanta, Shiromani, ok. This much only for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel for future videos.